That's too easy!
This episode of Welders TV is proudly brought to you by Amber Support Solutions. For all your industrial cleaning needs, go to ambersupportsolutions.com or call 02890 753 425. Amber Support Solutions for all your industrial cleaning needs. day at the office today from 3-0 up and cruising to come mm -hmm. away today with nothing for the defeat. Can I get your, your thoughts on the game today? Uh, I think a 3-0 up, uh, which could have been 5 or 6. We yep. just thought it was too easy yep. and we switched off. We stopped doing what actually got us the lead. Mm -hmm. We stopped working hard, we stopped passing the ball quickly and we switched off and let them back into the game and at, at half time it's 3-2. Do you think the heads dropped after they scored their first one? I mean they got two quick goals right away just before half time, do you think the heads dropped a wee bit after that? I think it was a shock to them because at, at, for 20 minutes, 25 minutes we were uh, dominating, totally dominating. Yeah, so I think they were shocked with the free kick, uh, set piece, but that's, that's not good enough. It's, no. it's, we need to be mentally stronger uh, and, and prove to be the second half. Uh, we asked them to go out and put in the same performance that they did you know, on how they started the game, yeah. um, and, but we didn't turn up second half. I mean, you made a few changes. I mean, it just didn't go our way in the second half. I mean, they took their chance as well. 
would you say that? The dead, but we have to take responsibility. I mean, we have to take runners off the ball. We have to close down a little, with a wee bit more urgency. Uh, switched off at the goals. There's two clean, two clear headers, yeah. two free headers, and they've scored. And you have a lot, a lot of work on your hands. Obviously, we're scheduled to play Lauren next. That's going to yeah. be another tough time. Yeah. Obviously, going back to the training ground Tuesday and Thursday to try and work on obviously try and improve from today. Would you say? Yeah, I'm, <laughs> we've said before. I mean, now that the, the next game is Lauren, uh, we we hope to get something today. Mm -hmm. It didn't work out, and but we need bigger characters. The uh, the boys have said to the boys now go and have a look at yourselves. Go home and look in the mirror. They just give enough second half. Not too many of them can. Yeah. All I'm asking of them is to give me 100%. They're just touching on their being characters. Um, we've lost a big character now in the squad, with big Dan being injured now for the rest of the season. Yeah. I didn't get to speak to you on Tuesday night um, from where you were, I mean, obviously it was around the injury. Mm -hmm. I'm sure the boys missed Dan because he has a big character in, mm -hmm. in the dressing room. You were asking for more character. I mean, Dan is a big, big character, wouldn't you say? Um, we won a lot. I don't think we'd have lost the goals today if Dan was in there. Dan would yeah. keep us on our toes. So I, I know Dan's a big loss, but we have to replace him. Mm -hmm. And uh, Gary Spence went in there today. Gary's coming back. He hasn't trained in two weeks with a hamstring injury. So, I mean, we're at the minute, it's not going our way. But we have to knuckle down. We have to work harder. We have to we have to make it happen. It's not going to happen for us. So we need to work hard. We get back to the training ground Tuesday and just... Lauren's a big game next week, so we need to be up for it. I mean, we can prove what one day. I mean, look at last season, I mean, the results were grinded out last year. I mean, that much changed to the squad. I mean, you've made a few more changes. Are you happy enough with the boys you brought in now? Obviously, the transfer window's closed. Are you happy enough with the business you've brought in now? I am. I'm happy enough. I'm a five or six in, so I'm happy enough. But, yeah. um, I mean, the game today, I mean, you're 3 0 up. We still got to go and kill the game. Yeah. Uh, the boys took the foot off the pedal and we got to learn from that. We got to, and the second half, we didn't turn up. Okay. And finally, before you go today, a new face on the on the touch line of yourself today. Garth Skates is now part of the, the backroom team. Um, can you give us a bit of information on how it came about? I mean, obviously, we spoke to him briefly before the game today. Well, I've I've I've, I've talked to Davy on and on on occasions. I want Davy to concentrate on his game. I thought Davy really was superb today. He was. Davy was, and he got his goal today. And at this minute in time, Garth's coming in to to help me out yeah. and on the sidelines, which is which is great. Garth's got a lot of experience, yep. and and Davy concentrated today on his football, and I thought he was superb yeah. today. I mean, Garth does bring a lot of experience to, to the thing. What he done is all the banger, for example. I mean, yep. years back, he's done absolutely brilliant. Yep. That experience alone with David, really, and obviously your experience as well, is obviously going to help the younger lads coming through as well, wouldn't you say? Well, I hope so. But uh, yeah, there's a couple of young boys coming through. We need to get it right on the park. I mean, we're conceding far too many goals. Uh, we need to get it right defensively, and uh, and it's 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 mentally it's. Maybe some of them we've been more physical uh, because they've been out with a couple of injuries in the last few weeks. So, but we gotta knuckle down, eh? knuckle down uh, get the attitude right for Tuesday. We'll work hard Tuesday, and um, with a massive game Thursday or Friday night.